Ludlow's Reserve now. It's a very popular spot, this one. There's a lot of uh, overnight camping goes on here as well. There's some good uh, toilet facilities and there's two ramps. So we'll go in and have a bit of a quick look at those now. Ludlow's Reserve is a popular destination around 16 kilometres from Wodonga. It appeals to both day trippers and overnight campers with camping officially restricted to 24 hour stays, although some do stay a bit longer. There's two excellent ramps, with the main ramp being accessible down to lake levels of less than 10%, so it is generally the one that is used the most. Recent upgrades to the main ramp have created a facility that's very easy to use and safe to use and this is one ramp that I do rate very highly for usability on Lake Hume. Main ramp at Ludlow's here. Um, you can park off to the side. It's a little bit rocky, a little bit lumpy, but you can park off to the side. Interesting though, when the rope gets down, ramp gets down to this point, you'll notice it thins out. That's a bit of a local warning actually, because we're getting close to the usable length of the ramp. And I can tell you that when this ramp runs out, it drops away dramatically. There's been a number of trailers that have been lost over the side here. So uh, just something to keep in mind. If you're ever coming to Ludlow's to launch your boat, just check it out. Once the water, as I said, gets down to a point where the ramp starts to narrow down, you want to probably walk out before you back your boat in. Just make sure you've still got enough ramp to launch into. Apart from that, a very, very good ramp. Easy to launch at, good spots to pull your boat up onto the bank as well. Fish species information is provided beside the boat ramp uh, for the species that you can catch out in Lake Hume. And they of course include Murray Cod, Yellow Belly, Redfin, Brown Trout and Rainbow Trout. So all regulations are there with size limits and catch limits, so there's no excuse if you get caught. The second boat ramp at the Ludlow's Reserve is known as the Lindsay Rose boat ramp. It was built in 2001, not used nearly as often because it's only good down to around about 80%, but it is a very good ramp in its own right as well. I'm standing on the Lindsay Rose ramp, which is the second boat ramp here at Ludlow's Reserve. Uh, it's a nice ramp, but... Uh, that's where it finishes. You can see that the, the lake is a long way off at the moment. It's got a really good fall, so uh, maybe one day in the future they'll extend this ramp, who knows. But at the moment, we get away with uh, the, the one ramp for most of the time. This one is used when the water is up a lot higher. Probably about 80% and better, it's in its element. But uh, at the moment, it's no go. There's a number of areas at Ludlow's where you can camp overnight. As I think I said earlier, officially you can stay here for up to 24 hours in an RV or a caravan, but you are not to pitch tents in this area for some reason. I'm not sure why. Well, rules are rules. Over there, we'll drive past and give you a quick look at it. There is a toilet block and facilities. Cicadas are having a good time here today as well, as you can hear. But some nice shady areas for people to stay. And we're only about 10, 15 minutes out of Wodonga. Great spot. There's a um, toilet and amenities block here with uh, five unisex toilets as well. It seems to be the norm. And around behind is a picnic area with barbecues as well. And a bit of a playground for the kids. Okay, a bit closer to Wodonga is Ebden Reserve, where we are at the moment. There's actually a couple of boat ramps here. They've got an ingenious setup here, where they have a very low level ramp. You've got to go cross country to get to it. 
but it means that people can uh, keep launching their boats down to a very low level. Just a bit of a pan across, you'll notice that there's uh, toilet facilities here as well. This is the rail trail that comes from Wodonga, goes, uses the old Wodonga to Shelley railway line and heads up past Talangata and, uh, and way up into the hills. Pretty popular amongst the cyclists. Okay, Ebden Reserve is for day use only. There's no camping at this reserve. Good day facilities though. This is the main ramp or the old ramp, as you can see down near the bottom there. It's out of the water, but there's tracks going off to the left. And if I can, I'll go down there and show you where they end up because they have built a, a smaller ramp down there that can be used when the water is low like this. So uh, let's go and have a quick look. Okay, off in the distance there, you can see the end of the main ramp. Um, so it's out of the water at the moment. Pretty popular here, so uh, just have to keep my eye on what's going on. So I'll head off, I'll follow this vehicle here and that should hopefully take me to the low water ramp. I'm only in my little car here, so we'll just make sure I can get through. Well, it's been quite a journey getting across to this low level ramp <laughs> and I'm not sure whether it's actually out of the water at the moment because I haven't used it since back in June but uh, we'll keep driving and I'm pretty sure it's just down here but things do look different uh, each time you come here so over the top of this little ledge here if my uh, directions are correct we should see it and there it is there it is only just in the water as we speak okay folks this is the uh, Ebden low level ramp way over there in the distance that'll be our next ramp that we'll be going to in the next episode and that's Kookaburra Point very good ramp as well anyway We're right on the edge of the low level ramp here. If you look back up there, we've driven across quite a bit of uh, land to get here. There's no boats out at the moment on today. So this will be usable for quite a while to come. And it's not a bad ramp. We use it quite often in the winter when the water's low. Uh, one of our earlier videos, uh, catching, trolling for big trout in Lake Hume, I think we called it, we launched from this ramp here. So anyway, no need to show you too much. As you can see, this ramp now continues down there, goes for oh, at least another 60 or 70 meters into there. So it's going to be usable for quite a way to come. We expect Lake Hume this summer to keep on falling because uh, the irrigation demands say so. So we're going to end up with a very low lake this year. So this ramp will come into its own later on in the, in the season. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, please uh, consider subscribing to our channel. And uh, we'll be back soon with the next couple of ramps in the series.